All Christians have Holy Spirit but Holy Spirit does not have all Christians and that is the difference between walking in the Holy Spirit and having Holy Spirit. All, all of us here we have the Holy Spirit but not all of us here Holy Spirit has us. The relationship with Holy Spirit brings satisfaction. When you have this relationship, when you have this walk, your life begins to be marked by fulfillment. That doesn't mean you don't have lust. That doesn't mean that you don't have temptation. It doesn't mean that sometimes you don't have even things that inside of you feel like there's that pool, but you are content and you are satisfied. With lust, you are never satisfied. And to overcome lust is to be filled with Holy Spirit. D.L. Moody stood in front of a group of people while he was preaching. He took a glass, an empty glass, and he asked the students in front of him, he said, how do I remove the air out of the glass? And one student got up and he says, well, you can vacuum, soak and, and suck the air out from the glass by putting a vacuumer there. He said, the problem is that if you suck the air out of the glass with the vacuumer, the glass will crack and you're not going to have a glass. He said, the best way to remove the air out of the glass is to fill it with water. Because as the water goes in, the air goes out. And that's exactly the way to remove lust and sin out of your life. It's not to try to suck it out. Now the programs for Alcoholic Anonymous, the 12-step programs, all of these have a place. But the Christian way of dealing with it, even in those programs, the first step is not to get a vacuumer and suck sin out. Bad addictions. I don't want to do this. I don't want to curse. I don't want to do this. It's not to suck it out. It's to be filled with Holy Spirit who pushes it out of you. Most of us think that if I deny my lust, only then I will be ready to be filled with Holy Spirit. But it's actually the opposite. Only when you get filled with Holy Spirit, only then you can deny your lust. And so the Paul teaches us, he says, you have to be filled with Holy Spirit. Only then you will not fulfill the lust of your flesh. And so I gotta tell you, turn off the vacuumer. Relax. Your main goal today has to be is Holy Spirit fill me with your presence and as you fill me with your presence every evil thing is going to get flushed out. It's a law of replacement. I've done this I, when I've heard this for the first time. I've done this in my own house when I put half of the glass with milk and I decided to get the milk out without pouring the glass. And it's actually fascinating. You can do that in your own house. It works for everybody. It will work for you too. What you do is that you put the glass, the half of a glass of milk in front of the faucet and you open the water and you just watch the transformation. It will take a few minutes. You watch as the water goes into milk and at first it seems like it's just mixing with milk and you're just going to have a diluted water. Not for long. As long as the water keeps going in and then the cup begins to overflow and you see it gets diluted, diluted, diluted until all of the trace of milk, until there's not one drop and not even a trace of milk in the glass. That is the power of the Holy Spirit when you get filled. He flushes things out. The goal is not to empty yourself so you can be free for the Holy Spirit. The goal is to come to the Holy Spirit so you can get filled and then things begin to get flushed out. Can somebody say amen? amen? Can somebody say yes? And so I want to encourage each one of you here, for those of you who have things you want to suck out of your life, you don't need a new vacuumer. New year begins and many people have new resolutions. This is what I want to quit and this is what I want to do. And they end up cracking under the weight of the lack of their efforts and discipline. The best way is to be filled with Holy Spirit. And at times you will feel like, well, I feel like I'm mixing things. I feel like I still have this and I'm trying to reach to the Holy Spirit. Paul said, walk in the Spirit. He didn't say get rid of your lust. He said walk in the Spirit and then you will not fulfill the lust of your flesh. Amen.